Launching the career of a young artist takes a lot of um, patience and perseverance because basically you're starting from ground zero. No one's heard of them, but um, in an ideal case, when we would have signed them, probably a few people have heard of them because we usually keep our ears really close to the ground and if there's buzz about an artist, we'll sign them. Um, but basically, you just have to believe fully in that artist, otherwise we would have never signed them in the first place, and you just talk them up. So everyone you know in the industry, you just talk them up, and sometimes um, besides sending the usual press materials out and recordings, which are effective to a point, sometimes we try to set up auditions with key people in the industry, such as conductors who make a lot of the decisions in programming. Uh, programming concerts for the orchestral world or we set up auditions with uh, key presenters or orchestra managers and most of those guys basically cover the whole spectrum of who makes decisions in the music industry and the concert promotion side and if your artist is truly talented then they'll blow them away in an audition and then immediately after you'll get a booking so that helps to really get the momentum going and then once you have people who have heard of them and talk them up, they just start talking to everybody else. And it's a small industry and world, so word travels fast. So it catches on, and then soon you have, you know, a dozen concerts a year, and then a couple of years later you might have, you know, 30 concerts, and then it just keeps going from there. But the key is really investing yourself in talent that's truly truly phenomenal. Otherwise, the momentum will really have a hard time getting started. As I said before, we try to keep our ears close to the ground and um, all the people that we talk to in the industry, we're all very close. Um, there's a close network, so if there's an orchestra manager who just happened to present a particular artist that doesn't have management, they may call us because we work closely with them and they'll say, hey, heads up, we just presented the most amazing 17-year-old violinist and you really need to come hear them. And so a lot of it is through network connections. Um, every day we get solicitations from musicians and while we appreciate it, the number um, of mail that we get is overwhelming and most of the time um, I hate to say this but most of the time the solicitations are the ones that we don't usually sign it's usually the ones that we're going after them and they're just so great that you know they probably aren't even soliciting they're just busy playing and having buzz be said about them throughout the industry so that's usually the latter case is how we would find an artist